You, are you know what I even do for this family? You are so ungrateful. Hey, where's my... I don't even care about this. Hey, Dad, where's my breakfast? Mom, can you make me some... Hey, Dad, can you drive me to school? Sorry, Junior, I've got to get to work. Okay. Hey! You work at the school! <sighs> hey, Walter. <laughs> Mike! What are you doing in Don't my- Don't worry about it. Just keep driving. Take us to the laundromat. Can you tell me something, though? What's up with your kid there? Oh, Junior? He has cerebral palsy. So, is that like Down syndrome? No. Completely different. Are you sure? Because they don't seem too different from each other. Ugh. Where am I? Buckle up, kid. We're going for a ride. You see, cerebral palsy is from a deformity in the brain, which affects your speech and motor skills. But Down syndrome is a deformity in the DNA. What's he going on about? Just let him do his thing. Speaking of DNA, do you know how the cells in our body are made? Yeah, you gotta get a man and a woman and the man <laughs> her <laughs> and <laughs> No, Jesse! That's fertilization, where sperm and egg join together to produce a zygote. Only after it is fertilized is it able to perform mitosis, which is how our cells are produced. The way that the gametes are produced is a similar process, called meiosis. But that's not important now. Anyways, mitosis is how all the different cells in our body are produced and regenerated. The DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, is a vital key to understanding mitosis. Mitosis has five separate stages, which are interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, or ITMAT for short. We start in the interphase, which is the majority of a cell's life before it divides, and it does all the normal things it's supposed to do. The DNA inside of it is unwound and is being used for protein synthesis. Hey Walter, I don't want to interrupt, but where are we right now? Uh, just taking a shortcut. The laundromat was five minutes from your house, Walter. Anyways, next is prophase. During prophase, the DNA has condensed and becomes shorter and thicker, turning into chromosomes. The centrioles start to move away from each other to opposite poles of the cell. Little fibers called spindle fibers are beginning to form. Nearing the end of the prophase, the chromosomes continue to condense. The centrioles reach opposite ends of the cell and the spindle fibers attach to the centromeres of the chromosomes. Now, the nuclear membrane starts to dissolve. Are you guys following so far? Jesse! Jesse, wake up! Wake up, Jesse! Yeah, yeah, so I'm awake. Uh, spindle, central chrome whatever and stuff mike anyways next is the metaphase in this phase chromosomes line up at the equatorial plate and the nuclear membrane completely dissolves then in anaphase the centromeres divide the split chromosomes are identical to each other they are then dragged to the opposite poles of the cell by the spindle fibers finally in telophase the chromosomes lengthen again and the spindle fibers dissolve the nuclear membrane reforms around the two sets of chromosomes. In humans, we each have 46 unique chromosomes in every cell of our body, aside from the gametes with Walter, only- Walter, stop talking about mitosis, Walter. I can't take much more of this, Walter. Mike, I don't think you understand. Mitosis is a key part of how our bodies are able to function. If our bodies never perform Shut mitosis, up, Walter. I'm sick of dealing with you, Walter. Pull over now. Why on earth would I ever care about the five stages of mitosis? Why do I care that interphase is the majority of a cell's life before it splits, and that prophase is where the DNA becomes thicker and shorter, while the centrioles move away from each other and the nuclear membrane starts to dissolve, and that in metaphase the chromosomes line up at the equatorial plate while the nuclear membrane completely dissolves, and also in anaphase the chromosomes are completely pulled apart by the spindle fibers and away to opposite ends of the cell, which completely splits apart in telophase, and the nuclear membrane reforms around each group of identical chromosomes. Mike, we can talk about this. 
You just don't know when to shut up, do you, Walter? We had a good thing. You could have shut your mouth, driven, and had as much fun as you wanted. It was perfect. But no, you just had to blow it up. You and your pride and your ego. You just had to talk about mitosis. If you had driven to work, known your route, we'd all be there right now. Yo, I'm sick of being forced to put up with your antics, Mr. White. Nobody even cares about mitosis anyways. You treat me like scum and- Knock, knock. But what Knock, knock. Who's there? Fulminated Mercury! Fulminated Mercury, who?